Hello and welcome to Clicking Keys. In this video, we're going to focus on another user request. Apollo asked if we could switch network locations based on whether an interface was up or down. So let's get into it. The first thing we're going to need to do is create a couple configurations for ourselves. So we'll create two locations. We're going to create one for Ethernet and one for Wi-Fi. So I'm going to create one called Ethernet. And then within the Ethernet location, I'll go ahead and select the Wi-Fi interface. And then we'll go to our little configuration options and we'll say make service inactive. That will just disable Wi-Fi on the Ethernet location configuration. And then lastly, we'll just make sure that the Ethernet port was configured to the top spot. Similarly, now we'll go ahead and create a Wi-Fi location. So we'll say edit locations again, and then I'll click the plus button and I'll just name it Wi-Fi. And I'll say done. And now we can go into the service order and just make sure that we move Wi-Fi to the top. And then once we click OK, we'll go ahead and select the Ethernet service, and then we'll select Make Service Inactive from our Options menu and click Apply. Now that we've got this configuration done, we can go ahead and start writing our script. So as usual, we'll start with the on run handler. So I'll type on run, and then we'll do an end run. And then we'll go ahead and start using our configuration by creating a record. So I'll say, set my locations to and we're going to create a record with a property called wired and then we'll name that one ethernet and another property wireless and name that wi-fi the important part here is that those names ethernet and wi-fi match the location names you created in our preparation additionally we'll also say set my interfaces to wired and then we'll give it the name of the wired interface and then wireless and we'll give that the name of the wireless interface We'll use these names in the future when we're trying to get the ID of the actual interface. Next, in order to work with network preferences, we need to tell application system events what we want to do. So we'll say tell application system events, and then we'll add our end tell. And what we want to do now is we want to say set location name to name of current location of network preferences. So this is going to get us the name that the configuration is currently set to. So in this case, either Ethernet or Wi-Fi. From there, we'll then say, if the location is equal to the wired property of my locations, then we'll do one thing, otherwise we'll do something else. With our if statement in place, we can start writing our statements. But first, let's write a comment and we'll say, we are currently set to Ethernet. So just remembering that this portion of the code is because our configuration was set to Ethernet. So we'll say set interface ID to the ID of the wired interface, in this case the Ethernet one. And then we will set an alternate location to the wireless of my location. So basically this will give us a, a quick way to use the alt location variable in the future to toggle back to the other interface. So now that we have the if statement complete, we'll basically repeat the same things in the else statement. So we'll write ourselves a comment that this time we're using the Wi-Fi location. And then we'll say set interface ID to ID of interface. And this time we're gonna focus on the wireless property of the My Interfaces. Lastly, we'll say set alt location to wired of My Locations. This will give us the ability to use the alt location variable to toggle the interface to the appropriate location. Next, we want a way to check the status of the current interface. So we're gonna say set my status to my and then we're going to create a handler get interface status where we'll pass in the ID of the current interface. These IDs are usually in the form of like EN0, EN1, something like that. But the way we're doing this will make it dynamic and allow the computer to determine what that ID is by itself. So now we've started creating our handler and we'll want to add our try block just like we normally would. So I'll add my try on error and then end try. And then we're going to use a little bit of magic with shell scripts. Uh, and we're going to use actually three different commands. And I'll go through each of those pieces um, that we're going to chain together and explain what they do. So the first one I've written here is ifconfig-au. This will give us a list of all the connected interfaces and their properties. This goes beyond just the Ethernet and Wi-Fi interfaces. And that's why we need to know the interface ID. And we'll use that in the next step here. 
Now that we've got all the information from ifconfig, we need to pipe that over to a grep command, which will allow us to search for just what we want from that information. So we'll say grep dash capital A, and then the number eight, ampersand quoted form of interface ID, the property we sent in, ampersand colon as string. So what we're doing with this grep command is we're taking the results of the ifconfig command that preceded it. We're going to do a search against it for anything that contains the interface ID and a colon. But then we want to go a little bit further and the dash A8 portion of the command, the argument, says give me the following eight lines from the lines that we found containing our interface ID. So now our result should just be the eight lines that contain our interface ID and the properties about our interface ID. So we'll take the results of that grep command and send them to another grep command where we'll search for the word status. And this will let us know of our interface ID whether it is connected or not. And in our error handler we'll just log that we couldn't find the interface ID in case we ran into some sort of an error and we'll reset my status to two empty quotes and then lastly we'll return my status. So that completes our get interface status handler. Now we need to do something with the results. So we'll say if my status as string contains inactive, then else, and then we'll add our end if. This will let us act appropriately whether the status was active or not. So if it was inactive, then we want to switch our location. To do that, we'll create a new handler call and we'll say my set location alt location. So we're going to pass in our alternate location to our new handler. And our new handler will be uh, called set location. And when we start writing that, now we're going to say our try block, try on error and try. Then we'll do a, a shell script in here and we'll use the sc select command in order to set the location to and then whatever location we pass in that this will allow us to use this handler to switch back and forth between Ethernet or Wi-Fi. And then we'll just do a little log for log uh, location changed and if we ran into an error. Now in the event that we were on an active location we don't need to do anything so I'm just going to put in a log message here that says no need to change location, status is currently active. That completes the writing of the script. Let's uh, switch over, compile it, and see it in action. So you can see I've currently got us set to Ethernet and let's go ahead and open up the script here and when I play this because Ethernet is inactive it should automatically switch over to Wi-Fi. I'm going to open up the results window here so we can see a little bit better and you can see when I first ran it we did in fact switch to the Wi-Fi network and if I do it again because Wi-Fi is actually active then it logs that there was no need to change because the status was active just as we would have expected. Now let's do it in reverse just to make sure everything's working. I'm going to go ahead and deactivate my Wi-Fi. And so now if I run this again, Wi-Fi should be inactive, so it should switch to Ethernet. Now I'll plug in an Ethernet cable to make the Ethernet uh, active. And we'll give it a test again in the opposite direction. Give me a second while I plug in here. All right, got myself plugged in. Now we are connected via Ethernet, and if I play it again, again we get the message, no need to change locations because we're currently active. Thank you to Apollo for requesting this video. If you found it educational or interesting, please click that like button. It really helps me out. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video.